So this is part two of determining the uh, effect that torque has on heat buildup on a connection. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Power Solutions and in this episode, which is a part two episode, we are determining the impact that uh, torque has on heat buildup on a connection. So in the previous uh, episode, we had three Parallel lines torque to, initially we tried at 6, 8 and 10 newton meters. Ran it for 15 minutes through this inverter, this uh, fan here, this uh, heater fan here. And uh, negligible difference between them because uh, each line was carrying roughly 60 amps and that wasn't really enough to cause a, a significant heat buildup. So what we've done now is we've changed to one single positive line. Uh, with a connection here with a temperature probe stuck onto it. And uh, we're going to run this for 10 minutes, uh, torqued to 10 newton meters. So we're expecting that at 10 newton meters, there's going to be negligible heat buildup on this here. So we'll run it for 10 minutes, see what the temperature comes out as, uh, then loosen this, torque it down to uh, 8 newton meters, and then 6 newton meters, and just see uh, if there's a significant. And we may even go below because now we can do that, we'll go down in increments of two newton meters, maybe down to four newton meters and see what happens there. So let's uh, get on with it. So as usual, glasses on to protect the eyes. And uh, this uh, torque has been set to 10 newton meters. And, and as with the other episode, I would highly recommend this Wera click torque, uh, torque wrench. Uh, there'll be a link down below so that you can see where you can buy it. Uh, it goes from two and a half to 25 newton meters. I love the fact that it uh, locks in place so that uh, you can't change the torque without knowing it when you're actually operating it, for doing you know many many torques and that. And uh, set it to 10 newton meters at the moment. So that's what we are going to tighten this to. So 10 on an eight mil bolt, nut and bolt. So let's get to it. Right, 10 newton meters. You had the click. And uh, we start off at uh, 9.6 degrees. And that's probably just because we've been manhandling it and that. So let's get it going and uh, time it for 10 minutes. Let's check the time. Turn the inverter on. It's reading currently zero kilowatts, 13 volts. One point nine uh, kilowatts, and it's come down to eleven point nine volts at this point here. So that's what we were expecting. Right, we've run this uh, for ten minutes. So it's got to 42.7-ish. After handling it, it was it started off at about eight or nine degrees. So we know it has gone up uh, roughly 30, 31 degrees centigrade. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is um, loosen this off a little bit and uh, then torque it uh, up to eight newton meters. So it's currently torqued to 10. And uh, we'll run the experiment for another 10 minutes. I'll run this for another 10 minutes and see. And let's get this loosened. We're probably actually going to dip this into something to cool it down nice and quickly. There we go. Okay, set the torque wrench down to 8 newton meters. So. We've cooled this all down. We actually cooled it down to about 9.8, which is slightly higher than it started with, but not much. Helps if I turn this ratchet the right way. So let's talk to eight Newton meters. There we are. And we are starting with a temperature of 10.6. So within a degree of where it started. Right, let's get the heater going again. Back to 11.9, 1.9 kilowatts. And uh, should be the same 
overall current as before, which was about 180 amps. Hundred and seventy amps. That's cool. Again, we'll run this test for ten minutes. Uh, at uh, ten minutes, we'll check to see what the temperature gets to. I think it got to about forty-two at the ten newton meter tightness. Now it's at eight newton meters. We'll uh, get back to you in ten minutes. So we've run uh, eight newton meters for 10 minutes and we are, uh, if anything, slightly cooler than the uh, 10 newton meters. So, so far, no difference between eight newton meters and 10 newton meters on an M8 bolt. They uh, started off at about nine degrees centigrade, give or take a few, well, not even eight, eight degrees centigrade. So I think the one was uh, nine point uh, five and, and the other was 10.5 or something like that. And uh, uh, both came to within a degree of each other. I was expecting that uh, at eight newton meters it would heat up a little bit more because this is carrying 170 amps and it's a fair amount of current. But let's uh, undo it, cool it down and start it off at six newton meters. So we're at about the same temperature that we started the eight newton meter test. So we're gonna now run the six newton meter test. Change the six on my wearer torque wrench. And uh, let's get this torqued up. I'll see if this ratchets the right way. Not much of a torque at all. Right, six, starting temperature is about the same as before. Let's get the heater going. Check the time for time, 10 minutes. Right, back again, and uh, surprise, surprise, at six newton meters, we're at 42.8-ish. So within a degree of uh, where it got to when it was 10 newton meters. So very surprising at, and especially as the voltage has run down a little bit, so the amperage has crept up from 170 to close to 180 at this stage, I would have expected uh, more heat buildup at six newton meters because the current is slightly higher to keep the same voltage. And uh, it's not, it's about the same. So uh, is really nothing in it between uh, six newton meters to 10 newton meters, uh, yielding the same heat buildup on this one connection. Uh, cables are all warm as you'd expect, warmish, uh, starting to cool down now. Uh, so. Yeah, I've really, they've already gone down to 30, this has gone down to 38.7 uh, already, because it's about five degree ambient temperature, five degree centigrade. So what we'll do, just out of interest, I'm really curious to see, we're going to actually uh, loosen this, cool it down back to the same temperature, and uh, run this at four newton meters, so tighten it to four newton meters. We put a charger on in the meantime because uh, this thing is about 20% capacity. It's only a 200 amp hour battery and we've been running several tests on it today. So uh, as I said, the voltage is creeping up or the amperage is creeping up uh, in order to keep the same voltage. And uh, so let's, let's get this loosened and do our last and final test. Right, final test, four newton meters. It's going to be very light. Such a light pressure. Okay, and we, to be honest, we're starting a bit higher than before, so let's just take that into account. Everything has cooled down quite nicely though. 
let's get the everything back on, check the time. And it's already going up quite rapidly actually. So I don't know if you can hear the beeping. Oh, how can you not hear the beeping? So I'm going to conclude this. We're not at 10 minutes yet and we're at about 37, 30. We got to 38 point something degrees centigrade uh, before the voltage uh, dropped too much. So yeah, we've depleted the battery quite a bit. Uh, so um, if we want to run this uh, to completion at four Newton meters, we're going to need to let this charge up for some time. But we had at seven minutes, we had got to 38 degrees centigrade uh, on a four Newton meter uh, bolt and nut. So uh, that that tells us, well, it, it's kind of surprising. I, I wasn't expecting this. Um, I, I thought that eight and 10 Newton meters would be fairly similar. That at six Newton meters, we would be uh, getting a lot more heat generation, the heat buildup. And at four Newton meters that we would get very rapid heat buildup. Because four Newton meters is, is really not tight at all. I mean, you, you barely put pressure and you've hit the four Newton meters already. Um, so definitely between 6 and 10 Newton meters, there's nothing to it. And uh, less than, than 6 uh, Newton meters, so 4 Newton meters, uh, we were clearly building up heat a bit faster than before. So I, I would say at a guess, without actually testing it, I'd say at a guess, we would have reached a temperature of 45 to 50 degrees centigrade. Uh, which is still not a huge amount over and above uh, that which was generated at 10 Newton meters. So I'm kind of surprised that at such low torques, we are still not building that much heat up. And bear in mind, even with the, we put the charger on to help us out to keep a, a reasonably similar uh, amperage. And uh, so th this, it's supplying 17 amps at the moment. So the last I looked, it was, uh, it's still drawing 165 amps out of the battery. And uh, so still quite a high draw at four Newton meters on this and uh, not really much more heat buildup than we had at 10 Newton meters. I suppose the, the conclusion, surprisingly, is really not much difference from four to 10. So uh, when you get heat buildup, I think it has a lot more to do with uh, the surfaces of your lugs. So, uh, and maybe the fact that uh, these were clamped to 10 Newton meters and then loosened off has meant that the uh, area of contact is still pretty good. So even though we've only uh, tightened to four Newton meters, um, there's still a, such a good surface area of contacting that uh, it, it still held the current quite well. So maybe if we had never tightened these to 10 Newton meters in the first place, if we'd started off with uh, two brand new lugs that uh, weren't mated together and only tightened to, to four Newton meters, maybe there would have been a lot more heat buildup as a result of less uh, contact surface area. And, um, we know that these lugs are, they're, they're a fairly rough surface. They're not smooth. In some cases when we have needed to have low torque, uh, high surface contact, uh, we've uh, used uh, emery boards or diamond files and, and flattened and smoothened everything. In some cases we've even used a bit of dielectric paste to make sure that corrosion doesn't come into it or, or build up of oxidation. And, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at this test. So appreciate your comments. If uh, anybody's done similar things and, and has more insights to show, uh, throw them in the, the comments below. But yeah, uh, test for, from four to 10 Newton meters, there's really not been that much in it. And definitely from six to 10 Newton meters, nothing at all. In fact, the, uh, the change from 10 Newton, Newton meters to eight Newton meters, uh, 10 Newton meters generated a little bit more heat actually than eight Newton meters, which was surprising, very surprising. So thanks for watching folks. We'll see you in the next episode.